Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue here at 1A Auto, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your K&N air filter. Uh, we have a 2015 Subaru Outback here, and 1A Auto sells the K&N air filters, so we like to show you how to do the maintenance on them. So you're going to disconnect the tabs on your air box and just grab that. There's two plastic tabs on the Subaru that go straight down. Pull it up and housing out and then you can access this filter. And this one's really dirty so it's a good one for us to show you. They have not been cleaning this on there. Regular oil changes. So let's go clean it. So now we're going to take the K&N cleaner and I'm going to spray this Get it all inside the, the fins. It's pretty bad, so I'm going to just really soak the heavy soil. I'm going to turn it around. Give it a quick one on this side. We're going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. We'll come back and rinse it. Now I'm going to let it sit. I let it sit for about 10-15 minutes and I'm going to run the water through it. I'm going to run the water through it the way the airflow goes so the dirt will come out on the opposite side. Medium uh, temperature is what it says. Lukewarm. You're going to do this until the, the water that's coming out is clear and not dirty. Well, you can see the dirt come out of the edges really good. One last rinse. I'm going to get the rubber seal. shakes. Now we're going to let that dry and then we'll oil it. Now that our k and filter is dry and it's ready to apply the oil. So you want to spray it only on really on the side that the air is flowing through, the outside fresh air, so the dirt will cling to it. Um, so you stay about three, three to four inches away and spray with an even. That's pretty much, maybe get some over here. But the nice thing is it's colored red. So when it goes on, the oil goes on, you can see where you've hit or miss. You just want the oil to absorb into the filter. Now we can let that sit for a little bit if you want to. I'll wipe this edge rubber seal down and that oil's just gonna go in like a wick right into that filter. There we go. You can see the nice pink hue on that fiber. Let that soak in. I'll take a rag and clean the outer edge and uh, it'll wick right in through to the other side. Only spray one side. I'm just gonna get the excess oil off the outer edge. I think that's good. I think we're ready to install. So I'm going to show you how to take the air dam off that goes into the air box and mounts to the vehicle so we can take the dirt out where the air filter sits. So first thing I'm going to do is grab a flathead screwdriver, take these plastic tabs off, just a matter of twisting them. They're kind of fidgety uh, like in the sense that they 
Sometimes you get a small screwdriver, you can pry up on it while you're turning it. There we go. Set that aside. Do the same to over here. <laughs> cool. Now we're just going to grab this area and pull it forward. And that's the air intake to the air housing. There's no obstructions in there, no leaves. It's pretty, just a little dust. But the housing is the one that I really want to clean. And that has two mounting bolts. There's one here and one there. And it's a 10 millimeter socket. So take this bolt out, and now you're going to have a little rubber bushing over here on an arm. There's a little metal arm right here. There's a rubber bushing on the end of that plastic tab. So I'm going to grab the housing firmly, pull up, and I'm going to weasel this up. Look at all the dirt. So sometimes you have to clean the air filter housing also, not just the change the air filter or clean the filter. So I'm just gonna go to a trash can and I'm gonna wipe the dirt out. There's a lot of grease in there. See if I can get as much of the big debris out as possible. And I'm going to take some parts cleaner, brake cleaner. I'm not going to spray inside that. This is an air expansion tank. Now I can take a clean rag and dry that, wipe it down, and reinstall it. Now I'm ready to install it. Okay, so I've got that tab over here, the rubber bushing. That one again, so I'm just gonna align it up and push it down, pops right in it. I'll put the two mounting bolts in. Just start it by hand, make sure, feel it catch. Definitely start both of them before you tighten one down. I'll just grab my 10 millimeter socket again with my extension, snug it down. It's rubber bushing, so it just has to be snug. get the vent, line that up, put it in place. Those two holes are going to line right up with those plastic body tabs. I'm just going to put them right in that. Push down, it snaps right into place. So now I'm going to slide that filter back in. The deep pocket side goes towards the front of the car in the bucket, actually. Now this cover has ear tabs on it in the bottom. You're going to line those up. See the little slotted hole there? You've got one here. They long, run along the whole bottom of it. This filter is very cumbersome. Butterfly clips, I like to push them right here on the expansion, they snap right down, and then you're all Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.